Yeah. Have I you seen it? I stopped recording because I was so tense really? the entire time. Yeah, okay. In the so movie yesterday. Do a little ID for to start off. Uh, the woman stuff is in. So, yeah, amazing action scenes. How did you train mentally and physically? I mean, there were just a few, there wasn't actually a lot of person talking. Just a, you know, a few words, and there was so much going on in your eyes. So, how did you train mentally and physically? And when did you decide to jump in for all the stunts? How did that happen? It all happens at the same time. To be fair, um, the once I got the job, then the, it starts the training for me. Is I have to get into a certain shape. Um, Jacob's getting into his shape because he's coming in. And when we when we meet in Namibia, then we all start to polycross and understand what each other's department is doing in order to create. Um, George's Max together. Um, Jacob and I worked ex like ex exclusively probably more together than the other two Maxes, three Maxes that there were for driving and motorbikes, um, who was actually the drivers for us, but because um, my job technically, I mean, in a, in, a, in a nutshell, was to say the words and to blend between the more visceral and dangerous stunts, which then Jacob took over, and then at times, Jacob, when there were two units playing, Jacob, you, you couldn't really tell the difference between the two of us, apart from when the camera's on me, obviously, to speak. But even then, you won't be able to notice sometimes the camera's on Jacob's face and you'll think it's me. There we were times that we'd, we'd look at playback and we'd see various takes and we couldn't actually work out who, who was who and who did but what. But you thought you'd done something really well. Really and it good. turned good. out that, that actually, was actually it was, that me. was Tom. Yeah. And then whenever uh, when something didn't go wrong with Tom, that, that was when... That was me. That was yeah, probably yeah. him. Yeah, or something went really, really well. That was so disappointing when I found out that actually Jacob had pulled it out of the bag. <laughs> so you did still, you, you did, you, you still had bruises though, or you know, from all the. Yeah, work. I mean, it's a physical remember, job. The, the studio nowadays wants, and and, and in filmmakers, they want to get you know their their in inverted commas talent and artist as close to as possible. See them in in as much, you know, of a difficult predicament as possible, as is comfortable, as is safe, and as is you know as pertains insurance. Okay. Um, but they do need us to be there the next day. But they will push, if they can, you to do something which is, you know, just a little bit further, a little bit naughtier than it was before. In this one, we celebrate, you know, uh, I think the combination of uh, the full articulation of people's skill set from stunts to driving to right across the board to create a hybrid of acting and ultimately action, which is live action as opposed mm -hmm. to CGI, like your Avengers or something like that. Well, uh Everyone in the film has brandings and tattoos. I see you got a lot of them. How many do you have, and what's the most special one? Oh, I've got I've got loads of them, and it's you know loads, and I, they're all special to me. But probably my little boy, you know. Oh, what is that? And my wife, my, my little boy. Oh, oh wow, oh wow, it's your wife and your boy together. I know, no, my wife's not here, and then I've got my. Dog Max on my back as well. I've got, I've got, everything is important. He's got a space for me. I have got a little one. Yeah, Jacob's yeah. going in there under the feather. Somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> under <laughs> the, the soft feather. feather. That, that is so cute. I see both of you. You bonded. Also, you have the same bracelets. What do they stand for? Um, this is this one was made for me by an operator. A friend of mine is an operator in the military, and uh, this one I made for you, right? Yeah, and this is the one that I wore in the film because I love the whole it. way through. And this is when you were in a movie. Yeah. Love is me, mate. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bracelet. It's, it's a bro <laughs> set, you know? That's what you do. We make bracelets for each, each other. That's what you do. And knit and do and, that. Ask Nick, and, Nick uh, about his knitting. Yeah, ask, ask Nick about um, his Nick knitting. Nick about knitting. Mm. Oh, he said he's going to get a tattoo now because of you. Well, yeah, tell him because my scarf doesn't. The wool hat that he knitted me, it don't fit. <laughs> okay, I have to wrap up. So just really quickly for online promotion. Just, uh, it's too um, big. 30 seconds. Um, it's really easy. Rugby or football? Rugby. Rugby, obviously, yeah. Suit and tie or shorts and shirt? Say again? Suit and tie or shorts and shirt? Neither. What are you wearing? Cargo pants, t shirt, and yeah. a pair of alley boots, Solomon's. LA or London? Cry, cry precision. Go on. LA or London? London. Ah, that's clear. Snow Love LA though. Yeah. Snow or sand? Oh, both. <laughs> Blonde or Concrete. brunette? Brunette. Brunette. Um, tea or coffee? Coffee. coffee. Batman or Superman? Batman. Neither. Yes. <laughs> phone call or email? Uh, phone call. Ooh, what, yeah, mm, yeah, phone call is more personal, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, right answer. Flowers or chocolates? Uh, both, usually. Yeah, both. <laughs> 20 something Different or times. 30 something? Both. Beef or pork? Neither. No. You did a very good job. Not sure about you. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> you. you. Thank you. Thank you. But Sig make excellent weapons. <laughs> 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 A dream from SCTV. <laughs>
Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> you start again? <laughs> Do you know where you're from? Okay, cool. Show you the picture the first time I interview with you. Oh it's wow, Star Trek, that. right? It's 13 years ago. Oh wow. <laughs> we are like students. Look at you. I was good Fresh looking face. once. Look at that. I was almost as handsome as you once. Almost. <laughs> Okay。十三年后，他终于在好莱坞暑假大片中变男一。只是这个男主角真的不好当，因为一开场他就被拿来当人体挡泥板。How long did you need to be tying from the the car? Mm. Your that your month. Face. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We, we were on the car front for about a month. <clears throat> they kind of tied us to a vehicle in January and then untied us from the vehicle in August. <laughs> and the scared faces were all real. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I'm not joking. So, did your family allow to visit? On the set? Yeah, yeah, I did. My son came one day actually, yeah. and I was hanging upside down on the side of the um, the wall rig, on the, on the wires, and he went, George, and George said, "Hello," and he goes, "You know, you must be Louis." He said, "I'm Louis." He said, "Yes, you must be Tom." I said, "Yeah." He goes, and he said, "Do you want to come and look at your dad?" And and and, and he came and looked at me on the screen. He goes, "Is he all right?" And he goes, "Yeah, he's <laughs> fine. But he's got these wires that hold him upside down, and so he's, so he's perfectly safe." He goes, "But what if they snap?" <laughs> and George was like, that's a good answer, that's a good, that's a good question. No, and then he goes under the wheels, you see, that's it. <laughs> that's all so, good question, son. Mm. And so, did you get any souvenir for your son this time? Yeah, we did actually. The costume designer made me a, um, a war boy outfit for Halloween, which he rolls out every Halloween. Oh. That's about 30 foot tall, isn't it? On a scaffold. It's like well, six, seven meters high, yeah. Uh, three, seven, to 21, 21 foot. Mm. So, you did it for real? on the top of it and swing it all? Yeah. There were rigs that were moving at 30 kilometers an hour, there were rigs that were moving at 40, and there were rigs that were stationary, and then there was just one over a car park, which is in the concrete. And, mm -hmm. and it was, yeah, it was a, just a pole, <coughs> about that much of a donut to stand on, and a little harness. And mm -hmm. Were you scared at all? Yes. It is what it is, you know, it's a, it's a pole with a tiny little donut you've got to stand on and we were harnessed in there at times. And did Tom buy you any drink after you do the stand up of him? Uh, buy me a drink? Yeah. No, you, you brought Absolutely me a, yeah. Not. I brought you an iPod. You brought me an iPod. <laughs> engraved. Way better. Yeah, and, and, and I engraved it on the back for yeah. him, a message What did it say? What did it say? You look F all like me. <laughs> <laughs> Furry Road, I think he called it too. Furry Road, yeah. Furry road. You look F all like me, mate. And that was the that was the beginning of a wonderful relationship. Mm -hmm. Hi Taiwan, and uh, please, please go and see Furry Road. I hope you enjoy it. I'm sure you will, actually. Jacob, you'd have to say something to Taiwan because they all like you then. <laughs> Hi Taiwan, please go and see the film. Tom Hardy's great. <laughs>